Today, we will discuss about the millimeter to inch conversion method and how it works in the new bolting method in PTMS. Let's generate the isometric of the previously discussed line of 2 inches from stabilizer plant. In general, the output units for both bore and lengths are set as millimeters. So, if we want to get an output in inches, we have to change the isometric plot file first. Let's do that. Here, we are going to modify the plot file for preview ISO STD.txt. Now, go to Options, click Modify. Select Company from the drop down, then select Preview ISO STD.txt. Now, hit OK. Click Dimensioning. Then, from the drop down, choose MM Length and Imperial Daya option. Hit OK. Now, our option file is ready to give us the output unit of bore in inches and the output unit of length in millimeter. Now, open isodraft and take the isometric of our concern line of 2 inches. Follow the bolt section in isometric. You can see that now the stud lengths are in millimeters and stud bores are in inches. But here's the catch. You can see that the corresponding inch to 16 millimeters bore is shown as 5 by 8 inches. But this is not calculated in the traditional unit conversion way. In PDMS, a basic conversion table is defined already in the module that actually takes care of this conversion. From that table, PDMS accesses different equivalent inches to already defined millimeters and put them in the isometric. Now, there is a way to modify those predefined equivalent values. Let's check that. You can see the NBRWLD, that is the nominal bolt bore world. Now, go to Modify and click Bolt Diameter Length Table. A window will pop up. This is the conversion table for both bolt diameter and bolt length. Now, right-click on the NBRWLD and click on Attributes. You can see the last column of Attributes is set as Purpose. If you write BDIA in that space, the table will work as the Diameter Conversion Table. And if you write BLEN in that space, that table will work as the Length Conversion Table. Today, we will talk about the Bore Diameter Conversion part. In the bottom left corner of the table, you can see a text called Grid Insertion Type. We have already set the purpose from attributes. That's why this option is grayed out. Instead of doing that from attributes, we can select the table type from here also. Let's make a new table to show that. Click on Create, then click on Bolt Diameter Length Table. Now, edit the Purpose tab to unset. Hit CE on the top left corner of Bolt Diameter Length Table. Now see that Grid Insertion tab is not grayed out anymore. Now, type BLEN in the Purpose tab inside Attributes. Now, click on Modify and click on Bolt Diameter Length Table. You can see that the Grid Insertion type is changed to Bolt Length. Simultaneously, the Real Diameter and Equivalent Diameter tabs are changed into Real Lengths and Equivalent Lengths tab. Switch BLEN to BDIA. Now, follow the same procedure and you can see the changes. Now, delete this table. Now, in the table, you can see there are two columns. 
The first one is the real diameter in millimeters and the second one is the equivalent diameter in inches. You can write your own values in the equivalent column. Then click apply and hit OK. Then click save data to file and hit OK. This will append your new equivalent values over the default conversion table defined in PDMS. Now, we will change the equivalent inch of 16 mm from 5 by 8 inches to 3 by 4 inches. You can do it in two ways. Either by editing in the attribute section or by editing in the table itself. Hit CE on the top left corner of the table and you will see the changes that we have just incorporated. Now, click apply and hit OK. Now, click Save Data to File and hit OK. This will append our newly defined equivalent values over the predefined equivalent values in PDMS. You can add new rows by clicking Add a Row button in the bottom left part and customize the conversion table to suit your purpose. Now, it's time to check the changed output in the form of isometric. Hit save in Paragon. Now, restart the isodraft so that it can fetch the changes. For your information, get work option may not work here. So, it's always better to restart the isodraft. We can see that after hitting the Get Work button, nothing has changed. Because the value defined by us in the table is 3 by 4 inches, whereas the value reflected in the ISO is still 5 by 8 inches. So, it's better to restart the isodraft. Now, let's take the isometric. As you can see, the changes are reflected. 16 mm is converted to 3 by 4 inches, as defined by us, in that conversion table, instead of 5 by 8. Now, just for a check, reverse this value of 3 by 4 inches, again, to 5 by 8 inches. Let's see what happens after following the whole previously mentioned procedure. As we can see, it is again changed to 5 by 8 inches, as expected. Make sure that there is only one such table in your pipe kata hierarchy. At the time of ISO generation, PDMS will search for this table of conversion, if needed. If there is more than one such table, then PDMS can't identify it and conversion will happen as per the last saved conversion data. Thank you.